Hello everyone, this is Lee Wan. So today I want to investigate about Livea, especially her Sobang weapon, like which CG should we use. But before that, if you are short on time, here's the conclusion. Weapon, we use critical damage both. And for the CG, we use the 1500 Regist Penetration with CC. This one, resistance penetration and critical chance. And then with the 1750 resistance. If you have Lacrimoso. Only if you have Lacrimoso. But if you don't have Lacrimoso and you want to use her for challenge, you, use, you can use two of these. Resistant penetration and critical chance. But if you want to use for the Red Sarah, and you only use, and and the team only have your Livia Livia as the sole DPS, then you want to use the four thousand resist penetration CG. Either this set. Or this set. All right. Now for the longer video, if you want to understand more why we reach that conclusion. First, we need to understand how she works. The hero special skill changes to Dragon Fang. Dragon Fang lasts for 15 seconds, and if the leader blocks his skill is activated while Dragon Fang is active, activates Dragon Rifts with the power of a chain, one chain. When activating Dragon Rifts while Dragon Fang is active, enemies who have a lower max HP than Livia will be put in the gap in the subspace state where they will take magical damage equal to 500% of Livia's resistance for 3 seconds. So right here we have the magical damage and Livia's resistance as a damage source. With the Soba weapon, upon activating Dragon Rips increase the hero's resistance by 150% and resistance penetration by 100% for 3 seconds. Upon activating Dragon Rips, if there is an enemy in the gap in the subspace, Activates Rising Dragon Bone to promote enemy to deal magical damage equal to 1100% of the resistance per hit and knock it into the air. The movement speed of the enemy hit by Rising Dragon Bone decreases by 50% for 1 second. So right now we know that Livia's damage all come from the resistance. And it is, it is magical damage so we need Resistant penetration. But luckily, with this, upon activating Dragon Rifts, the hero resistance is increased and the resistant penetration is also increased double. So, this one we can use this build 1500 is penetration and 1700 is resistance. Like this one. But only if, if you have Lacrimoso for best F F effect. Now let's understand how the in how the damage calculation. So for this, we need to get the stats first. First one, we need to get the critical damage. Right now, we have two critical damage, 86.25%, which is this, times two. The base damage, critical damage, 
and then here 1.35 is the status here and then we another have five percent critical damage from bond critical damage five percent so total is 4.125 four times damage for the critical damage then we have here the build is resist penetration and the resistance so the total resist penetration is 1500 and for the ring I'll be using this one with two resist penetration slot so total to 1842 and for the exact calculation we will need to get the resistance this 896.6 is actually rounded so for the exact number we will be using 896.6625 and we have the 1750 from the CGL, so total 2646.6625. But if you are using the RPNs 4K RPNs set, the total resist penetration will be 4000 plus 175 times 2 become 4342. But the resistance will be lower, only the base, 896.6625. If you are wondering what this number is, this one is the base resistance. This is the growth for every level. So from level 1 until level 60, that we have 59 times growth. And then we use, we give the bread plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus max that is 50 percent more start starts and then this one is the inheritance each five level you will get 112.5 resistance since mine is level inheritance 25 so five times and then 75 is the berry 75 is the berry Next, we have the passive resistance plus 150%, resistance plus 100. This resistance plus 150% means the resistance is 2.5 times. And then we have the damage scaling 1100 resistance per hit. Okay. For the first test, we'll be using the resistance penetration and the resistance. We'll be testing in the practice room first. With no goddess. For the dummy, we'll be, use, we'll be using Master Scarecrow. This one have 12,000 resistance. For now, we need to see how much damage Livia will deal. First, we need to get the SP skill first right here so now we slow down for easier viewing next we use the block we we'll summon the dragon here we get 10,255 critical damage per hit so to calculate this we need to get the critical damage which is 4.125 and then the resistance resistance right now we have 2646.6625 after that, the damage scaling is 1100, so it's 11 times. And this one is from the passive resistance plus 150%, which is 2.5 times. 
and then we need to get the damage reduction this one will depends the enemy's defense and our penetration so right now is one divided by one plus 0 0.0034 times this is the enemy's defense right now is 12,000 resistance and then this is our penetration which is 1842 times 2 because of the passive Recipitation plus 100% so if we calculate this we will get 10,255 which is the same right now if we bring Remy Remy buff resistance penetration 1000 so what will happen is the buff also will be included in the double resist resistance penetration right now we get the SP skill first now we can see 13,358 13, so we use the same formula but this time we increase Remy penetration 1000 which will be get double become 2000 become extra 2000 resistance penetration so we get the same 13358 critical damage so that's why we if you have luck cream also you can use half resist penetration and half resistance because of the the also buff let's see here grace of water dragons increase the allies reader magical damage by 80 percent critical chance by 50 percent and resistance and resistance penetration by 2000 so this resistance penetration by 2000 right for Livia, it meant 4,000 resistant penetration. And then for the resistant 2,000, it will mean it's increased another extra 5,000 resistant. So Lacrimoso and Livia is really huge synergy. If you don't have Lacrimoso but you want to use so for challenge For challenge episode 5 right now we have 5,464 resistance from the highest enemy So without Lacrimoso you will need to get With this 1,500 Double CG we will get 3,000 which will be get Double again by the passive becomes 6,000 so it's enough to get full penetration This time let's try with the 4,000 penetration It's still the same formula. This one, this one will have no Remy. So let's start with the SP skill and then we will get 8,286 damage only. This is quite low compared with the half resistance penetration and half resist. They get 10,000 per hit but we only get 8,000 per hit. So, so the same critical damage and then the resistance and then the resistance passive 
and the damage scaling and this one is for the damage reduction 12,000 minus 4,342 times 2 We will get 8,286 So for this enemy with high resistance, penetration is really important. So let's say we give Remy, which, is, which means extra 2000 penetration. So right now we are dealing 18,580 per hit. This one is already higher than the resistance and resist with Remy, which only 13,000. But this actually isn't completely enough penetration. Right now we are only at 10,684 penetration. We still haven't enough. 5,000 penetration to deal enough damage so for the damage right now 18,580 so it's the same but if we can fully penetrate like if we use penrail to read penrail Mark the enem nearest enemy for 5 seconds, decrease armor and resistance by 50%. So with this, the, the Scarecrow will only have 6,000 resistance. Which means our 10,000 is enough. So let's see how much damage we get. Right now we are dealing 100,000 per hit. One hundred thousand, one thousand seven hundred fifteen. This is really, really a lot. We copy here. So this time, we half the passive, the resistance. That means this becomes zero. So that means we don't need enough this one. Might be zero. Yeah, one hundred, one thousand seven hundred fifteen damage per hit. So the the weapon build will depends on what content you want to clear. Back to the conclusion: If you want to clear the challenge or raid, and you have lacrimoso. Then you just need 1,500 resistance penetration and 1,750 resistance for more damage. But if you don't have Lacrimoso, then you will need to use at least 3,000 penet resistance penetration to get enough. The highest resistance in the challenge right now is 5,464, so 6,000 is enough. And if you want to you do Sarah Raid as the sole DPS, but you don't have another DPS, then you will want 4,000 resistance penetration on Livea because Sarah has 8,000 resistance. But let's say you only have one Livea, which one you want to use? If you still want to clear the Sarah rate with this and it doesn't have the Lacrimoso, you still can use it, but you just don't use her as the sole DPS or have another partner reduce the resistance. Right now, the bot most likely will get Livia with Lacrimoso. 
So you most likely can rely on them. I tried to use like some promotion or legendary support team while expecting the bot as the sole DPS but it doesn't work well so far right now it takes like one and a half minutes or two minutes so it's better if you have luck Livea although you don't have enough penetration but it still works okay you still can get like 30 seconds clear 35 seconds clear Now right now I'm using the resistant and resistant setup without the luck beam also. It's, it's kind of slower bit almost 35 seconds 40 seconds but if you don't have Livia this can be quite slow I'm not sure why it just feels slower like if we do this team the support team the bot just doesn't do Fast damage. I'm not sure why. I still prefer Sodan because Sodan still react to our key chain, but this one we can only wait until the damage come. And usually after 20 second plus, then start the damage. But So having an op optimal Livia still better to clear this. But if you like just want to use Livia alone, then you can try the 4000 resistant penetration set. You don't benefit much from the set because it buff, it give the attack power, which is not optimal for Livia. So it, it is kind of waste.
now with this setup we have enough penetration For the red Sarah 8000 resistance penetration. If you have Lacrimoso, Lacrimoso will give 2000 penetration, which will get doubled. So we only need 4000, 4000 minus 1000. So Livia, we only need 1000, 1500 resistance penetration and uh, another 500 from the penetration ring. So the other slot CJ, you can use the resistance. But without the Lacrimoso, you will need 4,000 penetration. See, we can get 30 seconds or, low, or lower. So roughly like 5 to 10 seconds slower if you can accept that Well, for the challenge, we can actually can use without penetration. We can just rely on Remy and Lacrimoso. Oh, right now I'm missing. With Remy and Lacrimoso, we will get 3000. We get 3000 penetration. Oh, wait, this one we have. With La Cremoso and Remy, we actually don't need penetration. <clears throat> 5464 from the challenge boss. We, uh, we have 3000, so that's more than half of it. That means can go full resistance sigil. But if you want to use Noah for more magical damage, then you will need to use one resistance penetration sigil. But without the Lucky or without Remy, then you will need the 3000 penetration. Let's see if we go faster if we bring our own Lacrimoso. Right now we are overkill on the penetration side. doesn't increase much we need to get more resistance
Let's change back the weapon. Oh, we also need the five hundred penetration. So right now we have 2,000 penetration, which is enough for 8,000 resistance. Don't forget that the resistance scaling is 2.5. So that the 1,750 is a lot. 1,750. We get extra 4,375. This time we get 28 seconds because we have more magical damage buffer. Let's change our area. Assuming the area is resistance built, then we can use another resistance buffer. Yeah, 26 seconds so it is faster all right so i'll end this here i hope you good luck on pulling your livea and lacrimoso okay bye bye